I... So goodbye to you. Now I am alone. Is it not monstrous that this player here could, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, force his soul so to his own conceit that from his working, all his visage waned, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, and his whole form, suiting with forms to this conceit, and all for nothing? For Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him, or he to Hecuba, that he should weep for her? What would he do, had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? He would drown the stage in tears, and cleave the general ear with horrid speech, make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. Yet I, a dull and muddy-metalled rascal, peaked like John O'Dreams, I'm pregnant of my cause and can say nothing, no, not for a king upon whose dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? Breaks my pate across, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie as deep as in the throat. Who does me this? It cannot be. But I am but a pigeon livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter, or ere this I should have fatted the region kites with this slave's awful villain. Bloody, bawdy villain. Remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. <laughs>